had a toothache yesterday. My mom scolded me for eating too many sweets. Do you know, friends, that teeth are hard structures in the mouth which help us in eating food? The teeth of a baby begin to grow about six months old. The teeth are embedded in the jawbone. So, the newborn baby is given only milk and not solid food. When the baby is six months old, the teeth start appearing. By the time when a child is about two years old, he or she has twenty teeth. These teeth are called milk teeth or temporary teeth. Do you know? Sharks lose teeth throughout their life and they grow new ones to replace the lost teeth. As soon as one falls out, another one takes its place. At the age of six years, the milk teeth start falling off and new teeth start appearing in their places. These are called permanent teeth. No new teeth will grow in the place of permanent teeth after losing them. After 20 years, you will have all the 32 teeth. You might not think that snails are very fierce, but snails can have as many as 25,000 teeth. Look at your teeth in the mirror. Now feel the edges of your teeth. Are all the teeth alike? All our teeth are not same in shape or size. There are different teeth for different purposes. There are four types of teeth which are incisors, canines, premolars and molars. Let us study about these teeth one by one. We have four flat teeth at the front of each jaw. They are known as incisors. They help us to cut or bite our food. On either side of the incisors, there are sharp pointed teeth in each side of the jaw. These are known as canines. There are two canines in each jaw. These teeth are used for tearing food, so they are also known as tearing teeth. Next to canines, we have broad and grooved teeth which help in cracking food. These are known as premolars or cracking teeth. There are two premolars on both sides of each jaw, so there are four premolars in each jaw and thus we have eight premolars in our mouth. Six broad teeth, three on both sides in each jaw are called molars or grinding teeth. Thus, they are twelve in numbers. They help in grinding and chewing the food. We have seen different types of teeth. Yet all our teeth have the same basic structure. When we smile in front of a mirror, we can see our teeth. But we cannot see our entire teeth. Actually, we can see only the visible part of a tooth. The part that is not seen is root and is fixed into the jawbone. Let us now study the structure of a tooth. A tooth consists of three main parts, crown, neck and root. The portion of tooth seen above the gum is called the crown. The portion of tooth inside the gum is called the root. The portion just below the crown and above the root is known as neck. The crown is covered with a hard layer called enamel. Below the enamel lies the dentine. It is quite hard. 
in the center of tooth there is a special material called pulp it is soft and has blood vessels and nerves in it they supply nutrition for enamel and dentin tooth enamel is the hardest part of the human body then how does the tooth decay when the teeth are not properly cleaned some food particles remain stuck to the teeth or remain in between the teeth germs in the mouth act on these food particles and begin to produce acids these acids act on the enamel slowly they produce small holes exposing pulp which causes pain and eventually tooth destruction if proper care is not taken how can we take care of teeth let us learn the most important preventive measure for tooth decay is brushing teeth tooth brush removes the food particles stuck to the teeth and in between the teeth it is good to brush your teeth after every meal or at least brush your teeth twice a day use a dental floss to clean between the teeth after every meal at least wash your mouth with water that is gargling some rules are given to show you the best way of brushing brush the upper teeth with downward strokes and in one direction and lower teeth with upward strokes in another direction brush the flat surface of teeth molars and premolars with scrubbing stroke brush each area at least 5 to 7 times brush each jaw separately following practices may also help in keeping our teeth and gums healthy take well balanced diet to give more strength to your teeth don't eat too hot or too cold food don't eat too many sweets or chocolates because germs grow faster on sweets that stick to the teeth are my hands clean it might appear clean now see did you see germs well some living things are so small in size that we cannot see them with naked eyes such organisms are called microbes a special instrument called microscope is used to observe them microbes are found everywhere in the air water soil food and even inside our body some microbes are useful to us while some are harmful which cause diseases and are known as germs there are mainly four types of microbes bacteria virus fungi and protozoa They are the most common microbes and found everywhere on the earth. They consist of only one cell. Some harmful bacteria cause diseases such as typhoid, tuberculosis, pneumonia, and food poisoning. Viruses are smaller than bacteria. They also cause diseases like common cold, polio, chickenpox, etc. Fungi are non-green plants which grow in dark and moist places. Some fungi are harmful and cause diseases like ringworm and athlete's foot. Protozoa are also single-celled living things. They are harmful to us as they cause diseases like malaria and dysentery. Some bacteria are useful to us. they help in decaying dead plants and animals and some bacteria are needed for preparing cheese curd vinegar etc too some fungi such as yeast are useful 
It is used for making bread and wine. Let us summarize. Infants are born without teeth. The child starts developing teeth after six months. The first set of teeth is known as milk teeth. The child of six years starts losing milk teeth. The child also gets a new set of teeth which are known as permanent teeth. We have four types of teeth namely incisors, canines, premolars and molars. Tooth consists of crown, neck and root. The harder substance enamel of a tooth can be spoiled by the smallest germs like bacteria and virus. Some living things are very small in size. They are called microbes. Bacteria, virus, fungi and protozoa are the types of microbes.